I haven't taken a look at Near Protocol in a while, so let's go dive into this bad boy, see what she's doing. I think, though, this has been a good one to continue to short on lower highs, if I remember correctly. Yes, sir. This is having a major... Oh, boy. Yeah, it already took out its lows, so it, it just made new yearly lows on the 12th of October. This isn't good. So it's a similar 130 day, you know, triangle ish. So 130 days, just like, oh, I'm big. All right. So this is 130 day consolidation, similar to Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has not taken out its yearly lows, which is 17.5, probably on the same exact day, like June 18th, or whatever, right? June 13th, 18th. Near has taken it out. So if that's out, any move up, you statistically expect lower highs. And what has happened? Lower high, lower high. However, if it does start moving up, I would refer back to the breakdown point. I would say it would very likely, if it does move up, it would very likely get rejected by $3.44. That's going to be really hard to get over on first try. Like it's very unlikely to get above that on its first time touching. Just a heads up. Since this has taken an aggressive leg down, I mean, it might want to do that. But for your next big move down, perhaps when Bitcoin breaks out of its triangle. I mean, really. Just make a line from the yearly lows and you can you can look at the difference here. Watch. When it went below here, look. It did not go below, then get rejected by this line. You see this? Went below, lower high. Went below, lower high. Use it as support. Higher local high. Went down, straight back to the line. Never got rejected. So you could tell from here, this line was being defended, and the bulls were winning that particular battle. The bulls aren't winning the war, <laughs> but they won that battle. And you could, you could tell they were winning before they won it. Because every time it approached this breakdown line, or this line, it never got rejected once. It actually used it as, tried to use it as support a couple times. So before the next, before you say, oh, it went below that line, I'm short on 100x. No, not necessarily. You want to see price go below. So I'm on the very small candles, like five minute chart. I don't know about the timing. It could be near the end of this month of October or beginning of November. And it's possible that that $3.40 target's hit before this happens. But whenever it hits it, no matter what happens between now and when it hits it, what you're probably going to see is when it goes below it, you might have another defense, it might get above it again, but at some point you're going to get rejected. And then if you start making a new local low like there at that moment right here when that low is taken out, or especially the punch low, when it punched through, something like this. When it takes out the punch low, that's when it's going to accelerate down. But pro most likely only after a rejection point. And the probability of it behaving this way is even higher than is typical. And it's got a high, you know, uh, price of any crypto has a high chance of doing something like this before it breaks down. On and You have to go to the small candles though to see it, like five minutes. But because this line was so defended um, earlier, it's going to be defended again. And before those defenders give up, you're going to see a rejection point and then take out the punch low before those defenders give up. And some of those defenders will either just sideline themselves and some of them will flip bearish immediately. In addition to the people who were trying to get it below, they'll sell harder or continue to sell at the same rate and therefore it'll, it'll accelerate down because the vector of force down will just get way bigger than the uh, vector of force up at that point. Um, and that's what I would be looking for. So, but before that happens, it really, I mean, it easily could go test. Uh, what was that number? $3 and 44 cents. And even if it does, when you see it get back down here, it'll still behave the same way. It like just hitting this doesn't mean it'll do something different. It'll, it'll do the same thing. And that's a lot of freaking wiggle room folks. That's a 16% move.
So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, yeah, so I would not get antsy about a big short uh, until I see that happen. Now, if this is never hit, and hell, this local high is never taken out, and it's and then it, you know, it uh, sooner than later uses it as resistance. I would still try to. I would still say that uh, once it's resistance and takes out the punch low. It would still be a very tradable edge to the downside, and it would probably, you know, hit a trend line. Downside target would be about here. So get rejected, then comes down. 16% move. There you go.